What is happening? Where's Bigfoot? Oh, my butt hurts a lot. Shut up, McDouche. Wait a second, where's Dom? Dom! So Bigfoot is missing, Dom is missing. We were able to walk out of that cave without any issue after being trapped for three weeks. Does any of that seem strange to you, McDouche? I'm going to be able to shit twice as much now. Where did Dom and Bigfoot go? 800 likes on the video to find out in next week's episode. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Merch, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 season. Do you ever look around your desk and then you say to yourself, damn, I didn't realize I was that disgusting. I could draw a smiley face with the amount of dust that I got over in that area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen. I wiped that off. I don't need anybody walking in here and seeing that. Last week out, we had a pretty terrible car and that's fitting because it was sponsored by Black Flags Matter. So of course it was, it was just gonna be a big pile of shit. But somehow we were able to rebound and we ended up with a second place spot, but it wasn't easy. A couple of accidents early on allowed me to go down the pit road and adjust on the car a bit, but that didn't help at all. It really didn't. The car was just slow. It didn't turn very well. And we were very far off of the pace the entire race. But there were only a couple of yellows and that led to green flag pit stops. And as per usual in the Eutechnic saga, when the AI has to make green flag pit stops, we can usually outsmart them, and that's what we did. We ended up in second place because we outsmarted a computer. Typically, against a regular computer, that would make me look like a freaking genius, but against the Eutechnics computer, it's not saying a lot. Still came out of it with a second place, and that helps us extend our points lead up over Jemike, who's in fourth. We're now over 100 points ahead of him. I would imagine we're gonna hold this points lead up until the playoffs start. The chase starts. I don't know what to call it. So Jemai follows us in fourth. Then you got Bushy Bushy in second. T-Rex, who scored his first win roar, at New Hampshire last week, follows that up in third spot. And then Candy Cane rounds out your top five and six. The amount of mental gymnastics I do to try and read through that correctly each week. Keeps said, where the hell everybody else is sitting in the complete incorrect order. Winners? We did get a new winner. So what are we up to like 13? I gotta count again. I was actually right about that. 13 different winners, but a couple of them do not count right at this moment because they gotta get up into the top 30 for that win to count. When did you win? I wish one of y'all would win so it would give me reason to pop down into these bottom seven spots. Spots. Let's dissect this for a moment. Sideburn Fever could make up on JB McDouche the amount of points he is behind. He could get into the top 30 in one race. But you look down here at Mikey Walnuts, down by over 50. That's over one full race. If this win that he scored at Las Vegas ends up getting him into the chase, he's going to have to do a hell of a lot of work in the next seven weeks. Seven weeks is all that remains before we reset the field and we chase a championship for the final time. Three, four, five, six, seven. I can count. Those are the tracks that we have left to run on before things get really intense here. Today, the Brickyard. Let's talk about the Brickyard. The Brickyard has not been a competitive track in a Eutechnics game for years. It's just every single time we come here, we absolutely smoke them. For some reason, I don't know why the AI is so piss poor at this track, I'm not even gonna qualify. I'm gonna start out back and we're just gonna see how quickly I can drive up through them. Watch, they actually fixed the AI in this game and I'm gonna have all egg yolk all over my face. I think of all the gooey substances in the world and egg yolk on your face ain't the worst thing. Let's get to the track and let's get this video started. The Brickyard, let's go! If there was ever a track that should have been built in the Boston area, the Brickyard. My paint scheme for the day. Designed by Murph Turn 2. Go and check out his channel. Link in the description. Gas can water. Get one. Hello, everyone. Mike Joy and Daryl Walter welcoming you to the greatest race course in the world for the Your Hero's Name Here 400 at the Brickyard. Mike went out this morning, played around the golf, came in, watched cars go around the track. Uh, this place, so much tradition, so much history. 
this is a track that you just got to win on. IndyCar since 1911 and NASCAR since 1994. Who will cross the yard of bricks first today? Jeff Gordon. Put your money on Jeff Gordon. He's the man. But Jeff has more wins here than anyone else in the field. But at Indianapolis, this could be anybody's day. It's all about maintaining track position. Lady, lady, lady! Let's race across the bridge, boys and girls! Thank you, Daryl! I was just wondering. Well, one thing, I didn't qualify, and I still got someone behind me. What's that about? But how many of the predictions that Boogity Boogity has set in place since they started doing the pre-race show in the Eutechnic Saga, how many of those predictions, like, have actually won? There's got to be some statistics for that. I can't remember a time where they ever correctly predicted it. But I could be wrong. We're underway at the brick yard. Oh, my Lord. Oh, they're in the wall. I saw a big old puff of smoke. Jimba driving away. Jimba been looking real good. They're right up against the wall. I see Mikey Walnuts in the wall, man. You can't be doing that. You got to get in the top 30. Right now. Go down low. I mean, don't go that slow. Dang. Oh, my God. Wow. You're both going to be in the wall. This thing was a little bit tight. Oh, he getting me. He getting me back. We got some beef with Marie Antoinette of our people. Clear. He's not going to like me either. Let's He's crank out some it. brake bias, shall we? It's a bit too tight for my liking. Bring it up a skosh. I'm still cranking it out. Let's go as far down as we possibly can. 47, that sounds great. I'm not passing people in the way I thought I was going to be passing people. I should be up in the lead right now if this was NASCAR 14. Oh, here we come. It's, it's still there. I feel it. And maybe they're a little bit better. Maybe they've been improved a touch. But well, we're still going to get them today. Damn, Mikey Walnuts just is stuck on that outside line. Not going anywhere. Dropping to the back. Not going to score any points. He's got like the kiss of death attached to him. Ever since he screwed me at the Sonobis, his whole season ain't for crap anymore. Okay, they actually, I think they're, you know, they might be better than I thought that they were. They're better than I was giving them credit for. They're not nearly as slow as they always have been before. I, maybe I should have qualified. Was it 13 or 14 where I had about a, like half a lap lead put up on these guys just by my driving alone? Like it wasn't by pit strategy. It was. It wasn't by none of that. I just drove away and put a hat, and it was like at barely any time at all. This is different, even though McDouche is slow, but that's just, that's nothing to really factor into this. He's always slow. They've made them more competitive. You know, someone commented recently, we haven't seen a wall pop in a while. Remember when we started off this series? The first few episodes of the NASCAR 15 season, we were getting good amounts of wall pops out of the AI. When was the last time we had one? I can't really even think of the last race where we saw one of those. Maybe today is the day. Oh, sh you want it? You want to go again? You want to do this again? You okay, buddy? Catch your breath. Slow it down. Caution's out. You ain't gonna piss in my cereal bowl. He learned. Talking. Damn! I learned! I think I knocked out a villain! I got a pit because this car is not going anywhere anytime soon. You know where it's going? To the unemployment line! A lot of people pit. All right, so there's going to be a few that are still going to look to pit in another... We're like halfway on fuel in another seven laps or so. We're going to be able to make it on one more stop. Everybody that stays out, they probably can't even make it on one more stop. Those six... All of them right there, you see, all of their crew chiefs are fired. Guys, it just doesn't make any sense guys, to me. How, why, to why, now, why would you this. not pit right there? And then you can, all of us, all the rest of us, all the sane people that are actually with it in this reality, know that you can make it on one more stop from here. I guess the top, we'll see what the top six's strategy is. Oh, oh. Got a gun. Where the hell is it? It worked? Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to make sure you wish you were never born. You keep hitting me. Who do you think you are? Car approaching high. I thought that was not even going to be a yellow. I almost thought he was going to save it, man. Bam. 
Now McDouche ended up being the one that wishes he wasn't ever born. That probably hurt a lot. It would appear not all of them pitted, but some of them did. Stay the fuck away from me! That's gotta be the most unlikely rival that I could have formed in the NASCAR 15. Mikey Booms versus Mikey Walnuts? Like... Oh, you going around, bitch! He just... Or did I... Did I cut across? Did I get in a hamster? You're coming in, buddy. You're staying out. I'm gonna stay out. Uh, all right, that was on me. I'm sorry. Man, fuck that. You're always wrong. Mikey Wallace ain't even anywhere near the front unless we're at Lost Viagra. And somehow, some way, we formed this hatred for each other. Did not anticipate that when starting. NASCAR 15 season. Are these guys friggin' nuts? Oh. He really was thinking. Really was thinking about making it four. Holy shit. Oh, these restarts. What are these restarts, man? Part of the issue is this car is way too loose. I freed it up way, way too much for these corners. You gotta get off my bumper at some point. Everybody's grabbing wall. They're doing it behind me. They're doing it in front of me. I'm waiting for a wall pop. I'm waiting for the big one. Just because you're full of winner here doesn't mean you fucking own the place and you can drive like a dick. Three wide. Three wide. I would have tried to. He's charging. Man's. Thought was he gonna go down to the grass to make that pass? What is with all of them sticking it in on me? Like they got a shield that they just made in their prison cell. Absolutely incredible speed on the outside lane at this track, where in real life there is absolutely no fucking speed out there. Look at Sideburn Fever. Do I gotta try this outside lane? They're just, they're making so many passes out there. You know what, I'm gonna do it and it's gonna look like an ugly finger painting from a toddler at preschool. They make it look like fucking Mona Lisa art. I make it look like some stupid doodle that you're forced to hang up on the refrigerator. Welcome to Michael Moose Mid Race Park, set in by Gasket. Water! This is an odd indie. Was not anticipating any of this because of how broken and bad India has been. And the Eutechnic Saga, this is an actual challenge. It almost feels like we rewrapped the car that we had at New Hampshire. Though I gotta say, the New Hampshire car was worse than this. We couldn't pass anybody at New Hampshire. At least here we're semi-competitive. But not really, we're not that fast. Oh man! Yellow flag, yellow, yellow, yellow. I'm surprised we don't get more accidents like that at this track. When's the last time you saw a straightaway accident on the oval? Oh my! That's what you get! That's what you get! What the? What is going on? The safety crews are clear of the track. Heroes now open. Who's on the wall? <laughs> if we had more stuff like that, NASCAR Cup Series would still be racing on the oval. Maybe it's good we don't see any accidents on the straightaways if it's... <laughs> there are going to be no drivers left. All right, let me handle this. This is not going to make us whole. What? We're not going to be able to make it to the end of the race from here. I don't believe going back in the other direction, we're tightening it up a little bit because it was a little bit too free. Currently in 30 seconds, yikes. So we've got a lot of work to do in the second half of this race. Probably another pit stop is coming. This race, it's good, good, it's interesting. I like the interesting one. This has been Michael Moose Mid Race, we're presented by Gas Can Water. I said this before, like I love the races where it's not just a cakewalk, it's not a gimme, no pit strategy getting me to the front. I have to work my balls off if I want to get up near that front. 
Today is one of those days. Well, we're on the outside. We're passing a guy. Let's keep it up. Uh oh Now. So apparently it's good for turn one. But turn two, you don't want to be in the outside lane anymore. No, McDouche. No, no. Now where? Right. Oh my god, it just kind of has a mind of its own at the moment. Where was I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go here? Am I supposed to go to that? This is so... This is difficult! They swung it in the complete opposite direction. It was so easy to win here before. Now it's really hard! Sorry. She... She ain't gonna be thrilled with me after this race. Damn it! And now I got redneck cheese, it's all up on my shit! There's just like no... There's no fucking breathing room! The amount of freaking guys that brake check you as you're getting into these corners! Going so stupid slow, get out of the way, Grandma! Oh my, again, another one. Like, uh, there's just, there's nowhere for me to go! Might be uh, too tight, 95 car down the pit road. It's now, I can't find that sweet spot. Like right in the middle where it's comfy. Either had it too loose or too, too damn tight. What are you doing? How are you making this outside lane work so well? I missed it, somebody else also, out of the way, damn it. And there are a few more making stops. What is the call here? I don't, we can't make it to the end, right? It doesn't appear that the AI can make it to the end. Can we make it to the end? We're burning through fuel pretty fast. Did anybody fucking notice that alligator is leading? What is that about? And by a good chunk, he's got a big lead. Yeah, a significant portion are all stopping. We've got eight to go, but we're burning through fuel so fast today. There's no way we make it to the end on fuel. I'm not even looking at the tires yet. We're burning through tires pretty fast. Like I know we're gaining positions at the moment and it's looking like New Hampshire, like backing our asses into another good, good run. But I just, I don't see us staying out the rest of the way. There's a lot of lap traffic mixed in with guys. Racing for position. We're up to P13. Okay. Okay. I did it! I finally did it! Can I get another one? Give me that right here. Yeah! Let's go! Six more laps. Go on. Go down to the comments. Right, lap 27. Yes or no? If we make it or not. I, I was there! I'm gonna say lap 27. No. But there's no way. It's Jeff Gordon Ramsey. Boogity Boogity's picked to win this show. I mean, with him making moves like that on the outside of Vicks Vapor Robin Turn 1, he Our deserves to win. Where is Darb? Yeah, I was gonna say Darb. You're doing good. That's an interesting line. A line that carried you right into the freaking fence. Why are all of my passes now happening on the outside lane? Why did I suck so freaking bad? It's like now that the tires have worn out, there's a little bit more shimmy in the car and it turns better how many races in a row have we ended with like nothing left on the tires have we been so close to blowing one out like it's Keep in rolling. jeff Keep gordon rolling. ramsey is in we're up to p4 the top That's three weird. still stay out every Roger, time buddy. though Good i say oh you know we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make it there's nothing left on the tires i can't see anything left we make it we somehow pull something out of our tuchus. And we make it that little bit extra and we can cross the line with all tires still inflated. I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, just... Yeah, now it's, I don't know, man. That thing got really tight right there. Well, we're the leader. We're on two to go. Great time there, buddy. We'll try. We'll try it out. We've got six wins. We can risk it. There is nothing left of the right rear. And it... It's, it's just, it's... Looks like you've worn the right tire down. Fuck! We got a tire down. Fuck! We finally oh, blew one! One up top. Can I make it the rest of the way? Looking outside. To hell right with it! I'm gonna back. try! Go around me! Go around me, please! Yeah, remember how y'all were brake checking me? Oh, this outside. is payback! Hamster just took the lead. 
Is he going to come in, though? I am really slow. If I pit, we ain't winning. So we're going to try to stretch it. One more lap. White flag in the air. Mikey moves. Gas can water. Trying to win the brick yard. 400 on three wheels. King Louie did this, didn't he? At like Silverstone, something like F1? He can do it, I can do it. We can do this all day. You goddamn right we can. The only place where I might see an issue is, um, what happens if the right front blows out? If the right front lets down, Boomy Labonte is in second and is gating fast. I think we're gonna win. There's not enough time. If there was like one more lap, listen to that tire. It sounds like McDouche's asshole after Bigfoot had his way with him. I kind of feel bad because Booby Labonte is in second. And that would have been a hell of a win. But this is a hell of a win for us. We just won the brick yard on three tires. Do you guys expect me? Oh, you put a new tire on it. Well, that's helpful. I guess they just had one lying around that they slapped on there so I could burn it down like this. I've never Way seen someone do that before, but I guess I've never really seen anybody win on a blown out tire. I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you. If you blow out a tire, the car gets like, you can't control it. It gets really loose, you spit out. I was just slower. It just made me slower. It made the car tighter, but it, it the handling wasn't affected that much. Someone didn't turn their radio off, or someone is playing Stairway to Heaven in reverse. Are you telling me I'm going to have to listen to this the entire time I'm going through this rundown? Let's make it fast. Booby Labonte ends up in... Damn, look at these guys up here. Look at this. Oh, my God. I literally just talked about how none of them could win and how I wanted one of them to win so it would give me reason to go to that final page. And I stink up the show and I steal it. Tony the Tiger, he looked pretty damn good at one point in this race. I don't know where Jumbo ended up. Jumbo was dominant as well. Look at you ended up in 12th after you became a bird. They cannot get the strategy down. Leads laps, runs up front, qualifies well, but strategy? Oh God, it is garbage. How about I send you a fruit basket? Thought the man's was about to steal one away from me there on that last lap, but no, no, no. I'm so good. I don't even need tires. It is rough being a bushy fan in NASCAR 15. Like so close to so many victories, so fast every week. Dead? Last! Yeah, nobody's catching us before the chase starts. So must still hold second spot. It's kind of a mystery to me how he has, because he doesn't have a lot of great runs. Tony the Tiger in third, then you got Bushy Bushy in seventh, T-Rex in sixth, and uh, yeah, that's your top five. Let's take peeps at where everybody sits. Kmart, sneaky good season going on. Good for you. Same for the boob. That's unfortunate because that win, I mean, how many more opportunities are you gonna have to win a race before the chase starts? Why couldn't that blown out tire have spun me out or something? Mikey Walnuts, inches closer. Who's actually on the cut line? Oh, it's McDouche. All right, so McDouche is actually in 30th spot. 393. Mikey Walnuts! Mikey Walnuts, you're getting closer! Fuck you! Sideburn Fever isn't actually at 39. The game is just stupid. He's in 32nd, 372, so he's 18 off of McDouche. So both of them, they are pretty friggin' close. Can those two find their way into the top 30 and make use of those wins to get into the chase? Let me know in the comments. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if it's gonna, I could see Sideburn Fever doing it, but Mikey Walnuts has so many bad runs. And if he keeps fucking with me and it keeps pissing me off, he's gonna have even more bad runs. I really, I'm not sure yet. If I think both of them, one of them, I think I lean towards one of them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm done for now. Next week is Poke Oh No. We're headed back to my home state. Where did we run their first race? Second spot. Okay, probably weren't, yeah, I, okay, I remember we weren't good. Pit strategy, much like, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's an awful lot of pit strategy going on here, isn't there? It's been a summer of stupidity for the AI. So next week, Pocono, hope you guys will check that out. I'm done for now. Thank you for watching. 
I love you. Every single last one of you, I will see you in the next video. I wonder if they're gonna actually get New Hampshire. It's supposed to rain a lot. This might be the only race in your game this Sunday. At least it was a good one. I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Goodbye!